Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the hard drive in your 4K FreeSat box. You might want to do this if the hard drive in your FreeSat box is broken or playing up, such as being really slow, overheating, making unusual noises or overheating when it wouldn't normally. What you'll need for this is a T10 or Torx 10 security screwdriver and some sort of pry tool. So like a, you can use a guitar pick or a plastic opening tool or if you don't mind marking your FreeSat box, you can just use a flathead screwdriver like I do in this video. You obviously need a hard drive as well, which can be a fast 7200 RPM hard drive, which is what I chose, or you can use a slower one. I recommend using a faster one though, as the one that comes with these boxes is quite slow. I tried using an SSD, but I kept getting the overheating message, so I'm not sure if they're compatible. So let's get started. To begin, you need to, of course, unplug your FreeSat box from the wall and disconnect all cables. Flip your FreeSat box upside down and you'll see two Torx screws, which I'm pointing to. After you've unscrewed them, flip the box right side up and stick your pry tool in the sides of the FreeSat box. Because the way the FreeSat box opens, you don't take off underneath like you do on most devices. It actually, the top part comes off and comes away from the base, basically. It's like a, a lid. Start on one side and use your fingers to hold it unlatched while you unlatch the other side. Uh, be careful as this can be a bit tricky. And it's also, the plastic is quite sharp on the edges, so be careful with that. It should then pop off and you can see the inside. As you can see, there's not much inside, there's not even a fan, but I guess it, it, it's not really needed. This seems to be the, the main component that gets hot is the hard drive. I found the best way to take the hard drive out is to carefully flip it upside down and then gently unplug it, like as you can see in the video. It has rubber stoppers in the screw holes to prevent vibration, but it's up to you if you'd like to add them to your new hard drive or not. As you can see, the included hard drive is a 500 gig Toshiba, at least in my one, it might be different in yours. The hard drive I went for is this one terabyte Western Digital Black. I've been using Western Digital hard drives for years and haven't had any problems with them. So in my experience, they're very reliable. This one is also 7200 RPM, which is also faster than the one included with the FreeSat box, which is, I believe, 5400 RPM. And you do notice the difference. Like I said earlier, I tried using an SSD but kept getting the overheating message. It didn't feel hot, so I'm guessing they're not compatible, at least not around the time I replaced my hard drive, which was May last year, uh, May 2022. I was actually meant to make this video towards the end of last year, but didn't get around to it. But anyway, just put the new hard drive in your FreeSat box, the reverse way you took the old one out. And just be careful with it as they're quite fragile and don't touch the pins. So just touch the ed edges of a hard drive and it should be fine. And um, by the way, I'm not quite sure the actual specific sizes that are compatible with FreeSat, with these FreeSat boxes, but I recommend sticking with what they offer because you might run into problems otherwise. So for example, they do a 500 gig version, a one terabyte version and a two terabyte version. I don't recommend using different sizes. I mean, you can try them if you want, but I wouldn't recommend. For best compatibility, I recommend you stick with what they offer, and then at least you know it you know, it'll work without any problems. But uh, once you've inserted the new hard drive, put the top cover on, and then just flip it upside down, and put the two screws back in. And then all you need to do is just connect to all the cables and turn it on. All your settings will be saved from before because the only things that are saved on these hard drives is literally just recordings. Even your scheduled recordings aren't even stored on a hard drive, they're stored on some memory chip in the FreeSat box itself. So everything will still be there, which is, you know, it's pretty cool. Once you've put it back together, just connect to all the cables and you can turn it on. But as you can see, the hard drive does work. 
but I do recommend formatting the hard drive using your freestat box just to prevent any problems because it might work now, but later on, you know, you could encounter problems. To format the hard drive on your freestat box itself, and make sure you do it on your freestat box itself, not on your computer because it's a different format, go to settings, system settings, box reset, and then choose delete recordings only. And this won't delete anything else or mess up any of your settings. As long as you choose delete recordings only, it'll only format the hard drive. That's all it does. And after your box, is, after the freestat box has restarted, that's it, it's done. You have a brand new hard drive installed and you, if you chose a faster one, it should be faster as well. But you can also make sure that it is actually working and it's seeing the full amount of your uh, hard drive space that it should be by going into settings, system information, and then hard drive info. And then you can just check and make sure the amount of space that it's, that it's reading is the actual spec and the same amount as your hard drive is supposed to be. But if your hard drive doesn't work in your freestat box or you get some sort of error, it may need to be formatted on a computer first. You can connect your hard drive to your computer by using a drive enclosure or a USB to SATA cable. Uh, so next, go to this PC or wherever, if, you, if not using Windows, um, wherever it is where you can see your hard drive and stuff. And uh, if your hard drive shows up here, then just right click and uh, go to format it. And if it doesn't show up, then in Windows, you'll need to go to disk management. So on Windows 10 and 11, right click on the start button and go to disk management. And it'll take a few seconds to load. And then if you go down to the bottom, or at least towards the bottom, it should show up uh, your hard drive. Uh, make sure you got the correct hard drive because you don't want to format any other hard drive on your computer and you know accidentally delete files so make sure that it's the right one there's you know same capacity and and everything just make sure you get the right hard drive but uh once you know that you have the right hard drive you'll probably see different partitions on it so what you can do is just right click on each partition and then press delete and then it should the whole hard drive should say unallocated volume and then you just right click on the name of the hard drive on the left and then uh, it should say new simple volume and then you just go through the go through the settings to format it it doesn't really matter what um file type you use but i use in i use ntfs and i kind of recommend that but it, it doesn't really matter because it's you're going to be putting it in the freeset box and then formatting it using that anyway so it doesn't really matter but um once you formatted it on your computer it should it should work on your freestat box now. And I do recommend formatting it on your freestat box just to make sure that um, it works properly and you don't get any problems and stuff. And that's it. That's how to replace your hard drive in your freestat box. So um, that's it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.